Okay, there okay. we go. We're ready to get started again today with our number talk. Show me again that silent signal that you're going to use for when you know the answer. Show me what you're going to do when you've thought of the second way, and the third way, and the fourth way. Excellent. Good job. And the fifth way. And the fifth way. Excellent. Now, I'm going to put the problem up. When you know a strategy, let's look back real quickly at some of the strategies that you've used so far this week. You've been counting on, negative, decomposing numbers, and compensation. So once you've used one strategy, see if you can figure out how to do that problem using another, okay? Let's take a look at our first problem today. 2 plus 5 plus 8. Can you know it? Can you thumbs up? Right back. Okay. Lots of first strategies. Look good for some people that have second and third strategies. Kristen, how did you solve this problem? Um, the answer is 15. 15, how did you solve it? Um, you can add 8 plus 2 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. And then you add 5 more. And that'll make 15. Why did you choose to add the 8 and the 2 together first? Because that makes the 10. And why would you want a 10? Because it's easier to add. It's an easy Because if you, if you only, if you added 8 plus 2, that'll be 10. And then you do 10 plus 5, you know that 10, you can count on. And 10 plus 5 is 15. Okay, it's just easier to add. But did anyone solve it a different way? Faith, what did you do? I did two, and one of them is that I counted on, and I, mm -hmm. I put the eight in my head, and I knew that five plus two was seven, so then I just counted out that much, then I counted out, and then two. Okay, so you kept the eight alone, and you went ahead and did five and seven, and or five and two, and that made seven, and then what did you do to get eight plus seven? Okay, so she put the 8 in her head and counted off 7. Looking real quickly at her 8 plus 7, does anyone have another strategy besides counting on that we could use to solve 8 plus 7, this problem inside this big problem? Aiden, what else could we do? You could take 2 away from the 7, mm -hmm. and I'll put the 2 with the 8, and I'll and it leaves you with 5 and put 10 plus 5. Okay, you could have done the 8 plus 2, put them together to make 10 plus 5. Anything well, else? Second one. Sure. What was your second one, Faye? I made my eight into a ten, mm -hmm. and then I, I knew that eight plus two was fifteen, and then I added five more, 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 and then So you changed your, I copied, recopied the problem, and I changed your eight to ten, and, and then what did you do? I added five plus two, which was two, no, wait. That's five and two. Seven. Seven. And then ten plus seven, which was seventeen, and I had to subtract two more. Because why did you have to subtract the two more? Because because I changed my eight into a ten. Okay, up here where she changed that eight into a ten, she had to add two on to make ten eight an easier number to work with. We turned it into had ten. To subtract two. And then you had to change it back. What's that called, Faith? Compensation. Compensation. When you put something in at the beginning and then take it off at the end, or if you take something off at the beginning and put it back at the end. Let's take a look at our next one. Draw a line underneath that. 4 plus 7 plus 6. I think you know it. Show me one strategy. Four plus seven plus six. Jayla, what's four plus seven plus six? It is seventeen. Seventeen? How'd you figure that out? I added seven plus six. Okay. And it equals thirteen. Thirteen. And thirteen plus four it equals seventeen. How did you figure out that thirteen plus four was seventeen? Okay, so you looked at your ones and you saw three and four is seven, mm -hmm. and then you put that seven back with this ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it would solve it a different way. 
Brianna, what did you do? We've got four plus seven plus six. What did you do? I saw your signal earlier. What did you do? So she went ahead and added them in the order that they were. And when she got 11, she thought, if I move that 1 from the 11 over to the 6, then I have what number? What number did she have then? Two. 10. And that made it easier to add on. 10 plus 7. Did anyone solve it a different way? Aiden, what did you do? Um, I did um, 7 and um, I took like 3 from 6, so 7 plus 3 is 10. And um, Four plus two is sixteen, so I knew that I would have to add um, one more. So I did sixteen plus one, and I got seven. Okay, I was writing something else. You said you took a three from the seven to make it ten, and then what'd you do next? I um, I added three, and I had thirteen. Plus okay, four. so then you added on three more, and that gave you thirteen. Thirteen plus four is seventeen. Okay, 13 plus 4 is 17. So he went ahead and made a 10 as well by splitting up 3. What's that called when you split numbers apart into numbers that help you? Decomposing numbers. Decomposing numbers. Then we can put them all back together. All right, last one for today. 3 plus 8 plus 7. 3 plus 8 plus 7. Brandon, what did you do? Um, 18. 18, how'd you get that? Um, I, I can count on. Okay, so tell me what numbers you counted on. 3 mm -hmm. plus 8 and 7 can be used. Like, see, when me and my dad to told me, like, if you want to count on, count mm -hmm. on. Okay. From 3 to 8 or 7. Okay, so you counted on from 3, 8 more, and what did you get? So, 18. You did all of them in a row, so you did three, counted on eight more, and then counted on seven more, and you ended up at 18? Yep. Okay. Who solved it a different way? Used a different strategy. Rhiannon, what did you do? Um, I, I knew that eight plus two e equals um, ten, mm -hmm. and, then, and then I added one to make a three, and I knew it was eleven, and then I, I, put, I, and I knew eleven plus... Okay, so you took a 2 from the 3 to make a 10, and then you added on that one more, and that gave you 11, and then you did 11 plus 7 was 18. She made a 10 by splitting that 3 apart. Did anyone do things differently? Jayla, what did you do? I knew that 8 plus 7 equals 15. Okay. And 15 plus 3 equals 18. Okay, so you went ahead and did the fifth. You knew that fact. How did you know that fact? Because I, I counted on, I put eight in my head and I counted on seven more. Okay, so you put eight in your head, counted on seven more. Did anyone see something else? Christina, what did you see? Um, I did, I did, <clears throat> I did, I did four, four plus seven. Mm-hmm. And where did your four come from? The eight. Okay, so you took the eight and you broke it apart into four and four, and did seven plus four is eleven. Then what'd you do? Um, then I added four with three and it equals seven. Okay, so you took this four and three, and that gave you seven. And then I counted on three more, and it and it and it equaled. Ten. Okay, where did that three come from? Because we used our three and our four from here, and you used your seven and your four from here. When you counted on three more, where did it come from? It came, it's another three. Okay, we have to remember we have it to stick. It came from the seven. 
It came from this seven? Yes. Okay, so you split this seven apart into three, and what number? What goes with three to make seven? Uh, it's from that seven, the other. This seven? Yes. Okay, I thought we already used that seven to do seven plus four. Yes, but I um, Did you change your strategy? No, okay. I, I, I counted on three more. Okay, so you did seven plus three more, and that gave you? Ten. Ten, and then what'd you do? And I knew it was too much, so I just, I, I actually, I, I added, I added eight more, and it equaled 18. And how did you know to add eight more? Because you put, um, put eight, Ten plus eight is... Ten plus eight is eighteen, you're right. Sometimes when we already know what the answer is going to be and we're looking back for other strategies, lots of times we look for ways we can break apart the numbers that also make eighteen, but we have to make sure that we're looking back and using the parts of the number that were in the original sentence. We'll continue to work more on that together. So you guys have done a great job. We've come up, we're still working. At our strategies. What strategy do you feel like we used a lot today or that we've been seeing a lot this week? I had a strategy that nobody's used. What were you me. thinking? I used one that I memorized. Okay. So I, step, I memorized 8 plus 7, which was 15, but then I just counted on 3 and it gave me 8. <coughs> okay. Is having a fact memorized a good strategy? Yes, it's a good strategy because it's easier too. It's yeah. really easy when we have some facts memorized. Like, is there any way to memorize all the facts in the whole world? Unless you practice them. Too. Well, it would take a lot of practice. So that's why we're taught having our number talks so that we can have a strategy for what to do when we don't have a fact memorized. That's what the number talks are all about. You guys have done a great job, and we'll try again tomorrow. Good job.